Well, in exactly one week, we should know whether or not the recall campaign against Mayor Cantrell collected enough signatures, and if so, Governor Edwards would then set a date for a vote. But a step taken by the mayor yesterday could put a pause on this entire process. So when will this recall come to a head? Alyssa Curtis has been following this story, obviously talking about this a lot. What answers do you have for us today? Well, Sharice, the short answer is we don't know. Now, Mayor Cantrell is asking that settlement between the Secretary of State and the Nola Toya Group be thrown out. A court date hasn't been set for that motion yet, but with only days until the registrar is done validating signatures, any next steps could be delayed. The Secretary of State cut the number of active registered voters in Orleans for the recall, so the Nola Toya Group now needs about 45,000 signatures. But with Mayor Control challenging that settlement, UNO political scientist Ed Shervinak says the number could change once again. Now the question is, what, what is the threshold? Is it 225,000 active registered voters or is it 250,000 registered voters? If the recall petition does have enough signatures, the governor would then sign a proclamation for a vote. He could schedule it during our next statewide election on October 14th, or he could schedule a special election on any date he chooses. But he may have to wait to set that date. If there was a hearing, uh, there could be a judicial decision to basically hold off on the, the governor issuing that proclamation until they can resolve the issue in court. Shervinak says the court hearing for Mayor Cantrell's motion will likely be quick. Shervinak says no evidence will be brought and witnesses likely won't take the stand. Even if that hearing wraps up quickly, it likely won't be the last time an issue with the recall goes to court. There could be motions, there could be continuances. Uh, the, the judge could put a stay on decisions that need to be made. And so we're already in uncharted territory. Uh, and that this would put us further into uncharted territory because we just won't know until we get a final determination from the judicial branch. Shervinak says the motions could go all the way up to the Supreme Court. He does expect every legal proceeding regarding the recall to be expedited. Everything should be much more clear by next Wednesday, a week from today, once the registrar completes the count.